Welcome to a journey through time and architecture as we explore the groundbreaking Larkin Building, designed by the legendary Frank Lloyd Wright in 1903. This innovative masterpiece, once located at 680 Seneca Street in Buffalo, New York, was commissioned by the Larkin Soap Company, a national mail order business founded in 1875. At the heart of the Larkin Company were visionary leaders like John D. Larkin, Albert G. Hubbard and Darwin D. Martin. Their belief that a conducive workplace should be clean, well-lit and well-ventilated set the tone for the design discussions of their new headquarters. Situated in the midst of an industrial area of Buffalo, surrounded by rail yards, the location presented challenges that Wright skillfully addressed. His vision went beyond aesthetics, aiming for a self-cleaning, sealed and fireproof structure. Wright's design featured a steel-framed structure encased in red brick and sandstone, with cream-color brick interiors providing a soft, pleasant light. The floors were made of reinforced concrete and magnesite slabs, showcasing his meticulous attention to detail. As we explore the ground floor plan of the Larkin Building, we gain insights into the meticulous design that aimed to cater to the functional needs of the Larkin Company's operations. The first floor was dedicated to the lobby and mail grouping, creating a welcoming entrance to the building. This space served as the initial point of contact for employees and visitors, setting the tone for the corporate culture that the Larkin Company sought to cultivate. As we move to the second floor, we encounter the typewriter operators department. In the early 20th century, typewriters were integral to office operations, and this designated space showcased the practical considerations Wright integrated into his design. Notably, the central court on the ground floor housed a 100-rank Muller pipe organ, adding a touch of grandeur to the interior. This musical centerpiece not only contributed to the aesthetic appeal, but also enhanced the overall atmosphere of the building. In summary, the ground floor of the Larkin Building was a carefully orchestrated space that seamlessly integrated functionality with aesthetics. Each floor was purposefully designed to accommodate specific functions of the Larkin Company, emphasizing efficiency, employee well-being and a sense of community. This unique combination of practicality and visionary design makes the ground floor of the Larkin Building a testament to Frank Lloyd Wright's genius in shaping the future of office architecture. The challenge of the stair placement led to a pivotal moment in the design process. Wright's persistence in moving the stair towers to the corners as independent structures was a crucial architectural decision, securing an additional appropriation from John Larkin. Despite its groundbreaking design and impact on modern architecture, the Larkin Building faced a tragic end. In 1950, it was demolished to make way for a parking lot, an act now regarded as an unfortunate loss in architectural history. In conclusion, the Larkin Building, with its central air conditioning, built-in desk furniture, and suspended toilet partitions, remains a symbol of innovation and forward-thinking design. Join us in celebrating this remarkable piece of architectural history that continues to inspire and captivate even decades after its untimely demise. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Larkin Building, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more architectural wonders and history on FZ Architecture. Until next time, goodbye.